Hey lovelies, it's Cassie Monique. I just thought I'd do a video while my kids are occupied at the moment, so I better hurry up. Um, anyway, um, I missed a video in between because I was feeling sick so I didn't record it, so I think this is actually day 16, 17, 18? No, 17, 18, 19? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it's something like that. I have to look on the other video to find out for sure. I'll have a title correctly. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you um, uh, what was going on on those days. And basically everything was the same as every other day. I was still weak. I was still having the heart palpitations and out of breath and all that horrible stuff. Um, I tried to stick to it the best I could. I almost made it, but I, I didn't quite make it. Honestly, my husband was getting a little concerned. So I actually ended the fast just shy of, um, 21 days, you know, I had a few more hours before I would hit that, but I was just so weak and, and so tired. My husband was getting a little concerned about me and he he gave me some pickle juice. Some people may consider that breaking the fast, some may not, but I was trying to just stick to the the salt water really and nothing else or snake juice, whatever you want to call it. I was trying to stick to that, but I was just I was just really out of it and kind of shaky and stuff like that. So he gave me a little bit of pickle juice. And when he gave me that pickle juice, I think that was actually day, I think that was day, not, yeah, 19 when he gave me the pickle juice. He gave me that in the morning and I felt a little better. And that was all that I had was that pickle juice. So on that day, when I got on the scale, I was, um, I was 152.1. So almost 151, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll most definitely be there tomorrow. And then the next day came and I stepped on a scale first thing in the morning. I was 151.7. No, I was 152.7. So I had stayed the same weight and gone actually had gone up a few points. So I was really disappointed about that because I, I had expected to be 150 by the time the fast was done. So I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I guess I'm just going to eat today because, you know, <laughs> I'm not going to make it. And, and I'm starving. Like I could barely walk. I could barely get dressed. So that day, uh, the 20th day, my husband in the morning gave me some uh, broth that he had made. He had seasoned it up really good. It tasted really good. And then later on, on, I ended up actually eating and I ate, um, I just cut up some tomatoes, some pickles, and I had some hard boiled eggs and that's what I ate. So the next morning on the 21st day, I got on the scale and I had gained two pounds back just from that. I was 154. Altogether, I lost 23 pounds, but for some reason, I didn't take a picture of it, I guess, because I was pissed. I was pissed at the scale at that point, so I just didn't take a picture. I did take a picture the next morning after I ate at the 154, so I, I guess I'll say I lost, I, just, I lost a total of 21 pounds in 20 days. That's what I'm, I'm going to stick with. Another thing, uh, there was a comment that someone left saying that on one of my videos, I looked, I looked sick and I didn't look well and that I probably had low blood pressure or low blood sugar. So if anybody is feeling the way that, that I've been feeling, you know, maybe you should go get your pressure checked and uh, check your blood sugar if you have a way of doing so. One thing I must say if somebody is noticing something about you while you're fasting, if they notice something that doesn't look too right, whether it's a comment or it's, you know, your mother, your husband, your brother, listen to them. Pay attention to what they say because not everybody is out to get you. 
You know, they're just looking out for you because they love you. Not everybody's trying to sabotage you. So sometimes when, when people say certain things, it's not to offend you. It's because they care about you and they're keeping their, their eye on you. That's all it is. And, and that's what my husband was doing. And then when I got the comment, I'm like, okay, I, I guess I better go ahead and eat something. And, you know, like I said in another video, we need to listen to our bodies. I obviously need to take my own advice and um, listen to my body. And yeah, everybody needs to do that. If, if you're just not feeling good, you're not feeling right, you're not looking right, you know, maybe you need to look into it more. Maybe it's time to stop. Maybe you eat a, a you know, something, a, a quick, healthy meal and uh, start back, you know, if, if you're feeling bad. So just take that into consideration. Some people are haters now, you know, don't get it twisted, but um, not everybody. If there's someone that you knows who cares about you and love you and they're not trying to sabotage you, then just listen to them. Listen to them because you never know. You, they, they don't want anything to happen. You don't want to end up in the hospital. You don't want to end up hurt or, you know, even dead possibly. You know, it has happened. So that's my word of wisdom for today. I'm very happy to be done with fast. So that's all I have for right now. I guess I'll see you guys on another video. Alrighty, happy fasting. Bye-bye.